Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another morning podcast. Good morning, soul. And today I'm going to be doing another character study, another look at a character and talking about them. And this is one of my favorite video game characters ever. It is from the Fallout franchise. And if you know me, you know I love Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. One of my favorite video game franchises. Fallout 3 is up there for being my favorite game. And New Vegas is like just as good as Fallout 3. And I love it almost just as much. So that says something. It's just kind of like the ugly stepbrother version of Fallout 3. Like I can't like devote my love to it as much. But anyway, um, the character we're talking about is Yes Man. The most funny character like I could ever like want. Um, basically, if you played Fallout New Vegas in this game, you're basically trying to take over like this post-apocalyptic Apocalyptic uh, New Vegas, which is like Las Vegas area. And there's four different factions. There's like this military group, there's like this anarchist group, and then there's like this evil businessman group led by like uh, robots. And then there's like this alternate like choice because you actually can kill all three of those factions at any point in the game. And so it wants you to still have an ending. So they leave um, this one route where basically there's this character who you can just find. He's just chilling in um, this guy. There's this character named Benny. He's just chilling in Benny's room. Benny is a character who tried to kill you and you have to kind of dispose of him at some point. Or you can just let him run off. It's, there's a lot of different outcomes in this game. But basically you meet this character and he's saying, uh, basically... Uh, he was gonna try to help Benny, um, you know, take over the area, but since Benny can't do it anymore, your character gets to do it. And he's basically like this, he's a robot who's been programmed to never say no and to help Benny do whatever he needed to. So he's always cheerful, he has this, all the Securitrons are like these big bulky robots and they all have faces programmed into them. And Yes Man's face is like this happy, like, meme of a face just stuck on him at all times. And basically, um, he's extremely cheerful all the time. And basically, you can do things like you can try to kill him, and he'll be like, Ah, I'm kind of like a mortal, so you can try to kill me to get your rage out, but I'm just gonna appear as another Securitron, and, you know, I'm back at it again. And he has, like, this sarcastic laugh for everything. Um, he's just a meme of a character. I love him to death. And so we get these scenes of him where he's like, basically you can like go against him. Like he'll be like, oh, take out, like he'll be like, oh, get these people on our side. And you get them on your side or you can just kill them. And if you kill them, he'd be like, ah, like who needs the help of their artillery? Not us. Sure, they'll use it now to help kill us, but eh. Maybe, like, robots like me deserve to be killed. Who knows? Who's to say? Like, you'll just discredit his own life like that. And, like, you can directly oppose him and, like, do so many things that would, like, piss him off. And he'll just be like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> the funniest reactions. And his voice is just, like, this cold, metallic happiness. It's, like, such great. And... I have his wiki here pulled up. These are some of his quotes. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. That's it. Make me take my medicine, which is what he says if you try to beat him up. Then he says, did I say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Ha ha ha, I know that's not true because I still have a head. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up, and lesser person might want that kind of thing of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? Um, that's basically, like, you can get a, uh, these, this robot army on your side, or you could just blow them up, and if you blow them up, he's like, ah, who needs them? Who needs an army on our side anyway? And, like... 
there's so many things about this character. Like, he can't say no to anyone. Like, he's completely, like, unindependent, and he's kind of like this happy slave. And there's so many great moments with this character. Like, I've never been in a JRPG or an RPG with hundreds of hours or, like, minutes of dialogue with any character where there's interesting all the time. Yes Man is an exception to that rule because he is interesting from start to finish and throughout the entire game you just love him because he's so much fun and he's such an interesting character. And he's just stuck, he's stuck in this room literally his entire life and he's like, oh I've never even left here. He's like, you could say this room is my entire world. And he just says it like it's so happy. Like, uh, he's, he's the best character in this whole fucking video game. And, like, who thought of this character? Like, no one thinks of this character. Like, how do you think of this? But he is incapable of declining you, incapable of betraying you. You know, he has this very, like, dark vibe with him. Like, you think he's gonna betray you. Like, he's that, like, he's scary. He's kind of scary because he's talking in this cold voice the whole time. Ugh, it's just, it's crazy. And he's, 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 he'll talk about, like, oh, you should take out this group. Go and kill him. Like, he'll just, like, he has no sense of, like, life and death or anything like that. He's kind of like a monster, but he's, like, so cheerful and so even if you try to use them for good like this is kind of like the alternate like route for like the courier character your character like doesn't get like an independence by joining any of the factions but this is like the one way you can stay independent if that makes sense like without having to work for assholes because the NCR they're assholes Caesar's Legion they're assholes uh, Mr. House he's a fucking asshole and then, he, and then there's Yes Man, the wild card. And that's like the name of his like quest line, the wild card. Like, what if Yes Man took over the entire strip? Like, that'd be crazy. And the second you see him, like, you upload him to Mr. House's mainframe, and it's just like, good God. Like, I feel like I'm giving a gun to a madman. Like... Uh, like a chill ran down my spine the first time I saw him like on Mr. House's computer screen this is a crazy character and I remember another one of the books I wrote there was a character like completely directly influenced by this character um, I don't like I haven't read that book in a while but yeah it's I was so like inspired by this character like I could listen to yes man for like an hour like I could listen to podcasts with yes man I wish there was like a yes man like the soundboard or some or like the character the voice actor like did like bigger things with it unfortunately New Vegas wasn't like this huge game like it should have been it wasn't like like this should have been like the best like you know how people will make um what's his name from Borderlands that little robot kind of like this big meme like, that should have been Yes Man. Like, everything about Yes Man is, like, a delight. He's just a delightful character. But, anyway, I think I've gushed about him long enough. Um, that's my character study for Yes Man. A very funny character. Best character in Fallout. Fucking love him. He's great. Anyway. Thank you for listening as always, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Good Morning Soul. And until then, thank you for watching. And with that, I leave you.